I'm in Bengaluru in India, and I'm in a really special lecture theatre, and it's not just special because of this chalk holder. I've never seen one like this before, but it's special because this is the lecture theatre where the very famous Indian scientist, C. V. Raman, used to lecture, and in the institute which he built in 1948. My father heard him lecture in 1930 when he was in the UK, but this is the closest I'll ever get here in his lecture theatre. He was a famous spectroscopist and a famous collector of minerals. But before we look at the minerals, let me show you something. This is his walking stick. Brady always feels that you get really close to somebody when you use their walking stick. So it's almost like holding Raman's hand. And why she does it? To, to find, you see, the world around us is full of objects. Raman was born in 1888 and he died in 1970, a year after I started doing research. So this institute is still doing research and there is a museum here of the things that belong to Raman. And this, his stick, is one of them. C. V. Raman is really famous because he won the Nobel Prize. And here, and this is the first time you've ever seen it on our videos, this is what you get when you win the Nobel Prize. And you can see here it says the name of the Swedish Royal Academy, and here is Raman's name, and it's all in Latin or in Swedish, so I can't work out exactly what it says, but it looks great. And it's all hand-painted because they make a special one for every Nobel Prize winner. And Raman is particularly special because he was the first Indian to win the Nobel Prize, and he is still the only Indian scientist who has won the Nobel Prize for doing science here in India. He was also the first person in the whole of Asia to win a Nobel Prize. So this is the citation, and here, as you can perhaps guess, is the medal. The medal has on one side the portrait of Nobel, and on the other side has a picture of the scientist unveiling nature. We've only discovered a small amount about nature so far, so the scientist is still unveiling her head. Underneath, it has Raman's name engraved, quite modestly, and the year of the Nobel Prize, which was 1930. It's a really nice Nobel Prize. It looks quite worn. I think a lot of people must have handled this. But I feel extremely honoured to have been allowed to hold this. And it's something that I remember for many years. Raman gave his last lecture in this theatre on the 2nd of October, 1970. And less than a month later, sadly, he died. And he was cremated just outside. Let me show you. After Raman died, in the Indian tradition, he was cremated. And he was cremated here just outside the institute that he had built. And now, the place where he was cremated has a tree that was planted on it just after he died. And many years later, this area has become a football field. And you can see the tree is on the center line of the football pitch. And surprisingly, the tree is actually on the pitch. So Raman, who apparently was not very keen on sport, now finds himself on the edge of a football pitch. So now I'm going to show you Raman's collection of minerals. Lots of people had collections of minerals, but his is special because he collected them all personally. <laughs> 